Get away! Get away! Dive! 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 No! Ouch! Dive! Um... Hi! Welcome to Path of Titans, Walking with Dinosaurs Realism, where I have been reminded why you don't stand in the open and take screenshots without paying attention to your surroundings. Yeah. We survived, though. We got quite a few wounds to our tail now, but we survived. Managed to dive under the water in the nick of time before he bone broke me. If he had opened with the bone break, I would have been completely and utterly screwed. But he did not open with the bone break, and he is not eating me today. So, uh, yes, hello, welcome. Lake Jumper is almost subadult now. He has started to get his colors in. His fin, his sail is growing nicely. And he nearly died to a Rex because I was taking screenshots and not paying attention to what was around me. And that will teach me. So, at least we're not bone broken anymore. But yeah, we're going to, uh, stay under the water for a little while. I have pa uh, tail the tail paddle on sh and, str and streamlined hide, so we're a fast, fast swimmer. But I didn't have a tail swipe to use against him. Not that it would have done me any good even if I did have tail swipe. I bite at you. Well, at least we have some cool scars now. I can't- I don't dare come out of the water and lay down to heal, so we're just gonna have to- have to stay in the water for now, because I'm sure that Rex is lurking about. Oh yeah, I definitely have some scars on my left leg and left side of my tail. Oof. Ouchies. Uh, anyway, so far, it- other than that Rex, it has been pretty quiet at Beach Valley Bog. He's come back. He's been patrolling around the lake. I have not dared come out of the water yet. I'm still quite wounded. I'm healing. Slowly. Uh-huh. I can't even get my do my quests because it wants me to get button mushrooms and I'm not coming out of the water to get button mushrooms. Because that Rex is just patrolling the edge of the lake. I don't know if he's waiting for me to tr come out, or if he's just looking for people who might be coming to the lake to drink, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to pop out eventually to drink. But there's plenty of shallow areas where I can stand and sip water, and then if he comes at me, I can just scurry out of the way real quick. But yeah, fun stuff. He's back again. I've been I've been hearing him. Oh, there he is. You want a sponge, you dirty, stinky Rex? You want a sponge to clean up? Cause you're a dirty, stinky Rex. I've been taunting him as he paces around the edge of the lake. We're almost healed. We're almost full health now. I'm gonna roar at you. That's right. I'm so brave and strong when you can't reach me. When you can't reach me, I'm so strong and brave and courageous. Oh, you just wait till I'm an adult. I will eat you to bits when I'm big. I can bite too. I can roar too. Spin in circles. Oh, you want a, you want a roaring ch contest here? Um, yeah. See how ferocious I am when you can't reach me? Look at my blood red sail in fear. Ooh, you can't get me and I can taunt you as much as I please because you can't come in here. I can shake too. Shaky, 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 shaky. I can stretch too. Oh wait, no I can't, because apparently Spino does not have a stretch. But I can look around. Yeah, take that. Oh, you are so intimidated now. Look at the shaking. You know you're afraid. 
I will show off my sponge to you once more. Alright. Yeah, this looks like a good sponge. Look at this sponge in despair, because you cannot have the sponge. I have the sponge and you do not, for you. so now you shall cower in shame. Alright, anyways, enough of that. Let's go back to getting quest items. Quest items. Yay, sponges. Sorry for having to constantly flip in and out of water with the camera. It's the only way I can target some of these sponges. Yeah, so Mr. Rex has been patrolling quite a long time around the lake now. We're almost healed and we're almost sub-adult. So I am on the move. I am going away from Great Sand Lake, which had a spino there, by the way, so I couldn't live there again. I am going way down to this lake right here. You know why? That is the lake I used to live at with Suko. Way, way, way back when Riverland was the only- was- when the map was, uh, small and you could only play in Riverland area. That was the only playable area. All of my Suko Chronicles from way back then, my Suko lived at that lake. And I'm like, you know what? All these northern lakes are so full of other Spinos. I'm going to just- I'm gonna go back to my old lake from the good old days. Can I get up here? Can I get up here? Come on, you can get up there you go. Good lake jumper. But yeah, so we're gonna go live at Riverland, at my lake that I used to live at with Suko. We're almost adult, so I feel conf confident uh, roaming the map. I have put on defense hide in case I'm attacked, and I have tail attack now too. So we're slow but harder to kill. All right, we're making a pit stop here at Cascades, just to top off on. I need a, I need a like, I need one more sponge. If you look at my quest, and I have like 30 seconds, can I get it? Boom. I wasn't sure if this lake had sponges. And it's like, I just need one more sponge. And I had 30 seconds to get it, but we managed to do it. Huzzah. Oh my god. Defense hide makes you so slow. So slow, but still fast enough to catch a big fish. Alright, we are gonna rest over here for the night. Get our stamina back. We have breakfast now. And in the morning, we will continue our slow walk down to Riverland. Huzzah. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. We're just gonna sleep right here with breakfast ready in the morning. Ah, good night. How far away are we? Oh, we're still pretty far away, but we'll make it there. We'll get there. All right, we are so much closer now. We are now half a bar from adult. It is very slow going. We have thick scales on still, just in case we're attacked. We have our tail attack. Very slow going, but I prefer having the defense hide on in case a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something decides to pop out and attack me while I'm away from the water where I can't swim away to safety, so. How do I get down, is the question. I can't sprint very much, so we kind of have to just whittle-waddle our way. Oh, the skin is so pretty! Seriously, I love Bug Tracker Spino. It's so pretty. I'm going to be playing Spino just, just because I have it. I'm still going to be playing lots of Serato, of course, because I love Serato, too. And I prefer Serato because it's faster, more interesting gameplay. But now we have a Spino for if I ever want to play one. Now I'm not sure how exciting Spino life will be once I'm an adult because according to the server's rules, Spinos are lazy fish eaters and I mean, how much interesting video footage can I get by being a lazy fish eater? I'm not sure. But I'll have him just in case I decide to do something with him. 
I don't know, maybe he'll meet a nice lady Spino and they'll have some Spino babies and I can raise some... Instead of being nested, I could do the nesting for once, who knows? But it all depends if I can find a Spino lady, of course. Way down here in the south where nobody lives. Oh, this does remind me of the good old days, though. The old days of Riverland. It was... It was fun. That's where I met all the friends I play with now in-game. Well, I should I say all of them. I met most of them in the Riverland days, when Riverland was the, the area that we played in. Because it used to be one section of the map. I don't remember what it was. And then they moved the section to Grassland Lake and Red, uh, travel in a Redwood Basin. That's what it's called. That whole area. And then they moved it to the playable area to Deep Lake and Riverland. And I think the that time period was some of the most fun I've ever had in this game. And that's where I met most of the Path of Titans friends I have is during that time in the game. So going back there with my Spino is kind of feeling like just returning to nostalgia. The good old days. We have to go uphill to get there, I think, yeah. Can we go down here without dying? Let us see. It's gonna be quite the march, but I'm going to do it to get it on camera because why not? Hopefully no one's there. If I walked all this way and somebody is over there already, ooh, I'm gonna be annoyed and probably try to fight them for it because this was a lot of... This was a lot of walking for someone to already be at the lake. Um, how do I get up? Hello? How do I climb up? Ugh, going uphill is so painful. And we're almost out of stamina. There's a home cave right there. I can make myself a little den in the home cave and sleep in there at night. But no, I'd rather live in my lake and keep it safe from all threats. We're so close to adult. Actually, not really. It looks like we're so close to adult. But without questing, that is going to take a long time. Because Spino grows so very slowly. Because even at my super slow defense hide walking speed. And doing some quests along the way. You can still see how much I've, how little I've grown compared to when we started the journey. Compared to like a smaller dino that probably would have been adult by now. Ooh, look at this cool little tunnel here. All right, we're going to get stamina back just in case there is somebody waiting at the lake ahead of us. If there's somebody ahead of us in that lake, we're going to want to fight them, which means I'm going to need stamina, so... We're gonna just regen that up real quick. Slowly. So very slowly. Alright, good enough. Let's go. Let's go see if somebody's lurking in my last resort lake over here. That's not true. It's not my last resort lake. But it is not the one I wanted to live in. But it's the one I'm settling for. I did like this lake as a Suko, so, you know. Um, and it is a little larger than Great Sand Lake, a little less crowded with stuff, which will probably be better for a Spino anyways. Because Great Sand Lake is pretty crowded, my Spino would probably be getting stuck on stuff a lot, because they're very long, very large. Okay, no one looks like they're here. The water seems clear, so let's let's do a quick paddle around and see if anyone's hiding underwater. We're so slow because we're defense, but it's not a big lake, so it doesn't really matter. There's fish here, which I remember, so it's glad they're still here at least. Alright, looks like there's nobody here. This is now Lake Jumper's home, and he is now going to defend it if anyone tries to take it from him. And this is where I used to sleep with my Suko. I used to sleep right here on this little sandbar. 
And that's now where my spino is going to sleep. Man, I had some good times in this lake with Suko. Hopefully my spino has a good time too. But yes, this is Lake Jumper's home now. He's gonna stay here. And maybe he'll find a pretty lady. And then he'd raise kids here. Or maybe not. He might never find a lady. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next one.